So let me tell you what happened. I'll take this long form. Oh, so you see this money out here? It's being dried. You might want to ask, why is it being dried? Well, let me tell you. Well, it's actually dried pretty quick. I didn't realize this Indian money. Driver, this is 500 uh, rupees. You know, we got uh, Hopman down here front, you know, whatever. And uh, what I got there, well, here's my, uh, I got some uh, a citronella, because I haven't really got to buy some matches. Right, let me go back to start from. You can't see it out there. See, there's a bucket out there. And that bucket lives in here. Because, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a bucket. And that, that little one, that has, uh, uh, that has my uh, wash scrub thing. It's made out of, uh, I'll show it to you. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got this little archival purposes only. See, this is uh, made out of, comes from Carol, I think. And it's made out of coconut, whatever. And I've soaked that in this uh, soap here. This is a citronella and whatever soap. I think you could, what is it? Citronella and what? Oh, just a second. Right, just a second. Oh, there's some more money being dried. I know, I'll tell you how it got wet. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, I'll leave that like that. Huh? This is drying so nicely, I just leave it. I'm gonna turn it around. Hey. I'll get back on. Um, what soap is that? It's the uh, uh, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus uh, citronella soap. Spa bar. Put spa on everything. So um, I use that, you know, wash with da 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 da. There's a shower head, and so what usually happens is uh, after I get my treatment in the morning, I come back and I uh, gotta wash the oil off and stuff like that. But this particular oh, and I wear usually this. It's the underwear I wear, and uh, I'll show you the other thing. So it might have some. Uh, well, I only wear that for the to go up in the morning to do that, right? So, anyway, so I got back and I had gotten this, uh, what do you call that? This yoga mat, because my treatment, well, I started my treatment on like, Tuesday or something like that, but come next Monday, I'm gonna start my own, my floor exercise like you usually do, and I needed a mat. And I got this, and uh, got this mat from Johnny's, Johnny's place over there in Fertile East. Uh, he's a cat, you know. You'll, you'll see him sooner or later. Um, and uh, some people just they, they give Johnny stuff away. So he said, I said, I need a yoga mat. I just made it casual. Oh, so I got a bunch of people uh, dumped a busted bunch of yoga mats over the other the other day. I said, Oh, okay, let me see what's happening. So I took the mat on the bicycle coming back, and on the way back, I had a little spill in the uh, on the road, and these little things got into the mat. So, well now, it's a Friday now, so now, every day I come back and I uh, clean the mat off a little bit. So by the time Monday hits and I start my routine, it'll be sort of clean, but I'm not using it. I usually put a, a towel over the yoga mat or whatever like that. But when I do, I come and I wash. So this is the shirt that has the, uh, that I, every morning, uh, the vest as they call it, but uh, we call it wife beaters in the States. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It comes from uh, Tennessee Williams play uh, Cat on the Hot Tin Roof. You know, uh, Marlon Brando doing his uh, Stella. He's a working man. He has that kind of wife beater. Hey, now. And that's, uh, uh, that's uh, uh, Vishak and uh, Saga over there. Uh, and uh, so, so I come back every day and I, I wash that out. Uh, and this is my cloth I used. I washed that out. And here, this is the bag. It got so dirty, I decided to wash it. So I had all this stuff in the bag. So I had to take it out, you know. I had to, uh, I had to take it all out and uh, wash it. But I forgot to take the money out. Okay. Uh, uh, so Raji is the, uh, 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 Rishak, rather, is, is the cat. He's cleaning out. He's brushing out the room, I guess. 
So I, I had washed this thing, but I, I had all these pockets in. So I took everything out. I thought I took everything out, but the money wasn't taken out. So that's why I got wet like that. So we'll see what happens. So now uh, I got to go and I'll do, do this. So that was the mishap this morning. And this is the place I stay at here. Got a month, going to stay here a month's rent. See Ministry of Oroville. That's, that's what it is right there. And uh, I should wash my shoes or, or I got new sandals. See? New sandals made by uh, Das, my sandal maker here in Oroville. I've known him for 20, well, I first got sandals on him 20 years ago. So maybe I will. Because I can keep on wearing the sandals. Because you know you take your shoes off every time going to somebody's house. This makes sense, you know? So this that's so this is just the soapy water with the laundry stuff in it. So I'm gonna keep on washing the mat out and stuff like that. And I'll think about doing the shoes. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So that's my uh, little existence here. Um, by the way, you know, when you are traveling, I should say this. The biggest parts of traveling, well, at least when you travel, not as, I guess the tourists too, anything like that. The biggest thing is uh, food and laundry, you know? So I keep up on the laundry like that. And food is pretty nice here, so that, that's all right. It's not a budget thing. And I live very low to the ground. I don't have a lot of money. Don't have no money. Uh, so even this place I'm staying at, I guess it's, uh, I pay basically, it'll, I'm, I might be here like four months. So because I'm doing a healing thing, now mending. Uh, so it might, uh, well, it's, it's like I, I pay basically $25 a month to do this. And, uh, and my healing thing, every 30, every what, 21 days, it's about the same $25 for that. So I'm on a good thing. So this is the place. And uh, that's it. I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, I'm just going to show you around. I want to show you the like I think. Oh, that, uh, that's a mother who basically conceived of Oroville. And she conceived it uh, for Sri Aurobindo. That's why it's called Oroville, because Aurobindo, he's a famous, oh, he's a cat. I'll tell you about him some other time. I'll have somebody else tell you about him. So, so a lot of, some musicians, you know, uh, they have this place, they have this other place up there, but they use this to make a little money, I suppose. And I always help out musicians. So that's what's happening. Talk to you another time.